Hello fellow knobheads and beat people. I'm George, the gentleman rocker. This is the sound labyrinth. So let's talk some music. I'm right now in my studio, which is this beautiful space of my office. Um, the rest is filmmaking and other stuff. But I'm here to talk about... Let's see, I, I need some focus. Yeah, should be better. I'm here to talk about sound making and especially I'm working on performance and I will use the Novation circuit for it. Right now I'm starting to program one of three songs which are all in the same style for the performance and I wanted to show you how I work with sounds. But first let me tell you what this performance is all about. In this office complex we are a lot of artists here. It's a, it's a social space where we do some... No, let me, let me phrase it another way. We rent this studios. This is one of the smallest ones. But there are bigger ones. And based on the square meters we rented, we have to do some social hours, which mean we have to do some stuff that we always do, like me making music or doing some video work. So we're having a, a, a kind of party for the whole complex and we'll do a performance with some of the guys here. And what we what we'll do is we have we have a place, it's a backyard, not far away from here, where we will spray a labyrinth onto the ground and I will play 30 minutes of music, which is kind of ambient pet soundy stuff combined with an arpeggio. In, in this case that I'm working on and that's where this sound setup is born from. So let's switch to the circuit and take a look. What I've done is I have two pad sounds on Synth 1 and Synth 2 and if we take a look um, I have to find the octave. I have two octaves of chords and I hope you can... Okay, that's too much. Yeah. That's what this sound is doing. It's not much. And we have the same setup with Syn 2, but... As you can hear, the sound is much brighter. And I've only used four notes. And this is because I ordered a Korg mini lock and I will send these four notes also via MIDI to the mini lock to have it play the pagiator. Um, tempo wise, have a look, we're at 45 beats per minute, so it's very slow. The drums are very minimalistic, I hope you can see it on the video. And I have a little bit of high play around here. It's kick, drum two is snare. These are two hi hat sounds. And I've drowned the whole beat samples in a lot of reverb because it's a very ambient kind of thing. And I'm right now programming three of this. This is the first one, and I will do two others for the three performances. So I will jam this stuff and yeah 
as my mini lock hasn't arrived yet, I've ordered it yesterday. I'm right now preparing the stuff, but um, I would like to show you what it sounds like and what I've done with these two pad sounds. So what I've done is I have one pad sound on synth one that's very prominent on the starting sound, which means it really rises at the beginning and then slowly fades out. Let me show you. Yeah, and the Sun 2 is playing a pad that's very static but with a lot of movement in it. As you can hear it's way higher from the notes. So together they sound like this. Yeah, and I've added this beat to it, which is drowned in reverb and delay sounds, as my tempo is only 45 beats. I don't have a lot of notes, so I use the delay to have some of the notes be repeated within the step. So let me only play and turn you around. This is only kick and snare. And on the snare you can hear the delay, which is very fast, faster than the steps. So on the drums where every step is played, every 16th, we, we have a lot of delay on this drum 3 section and not so much on the other one to have a little bit of play in it. So if I turn them on... And these are only two sounds playing with no recording and stuff, it's just delay and reverb. That's what I'm doing with the sound and as I said when the Korg Mini Lock arrives I will add an arpeggio line to it powered by the same chords that do the chord progression. I will probably also, let me get some light to it, add the Streichfett to it to have even more pad sounds that I can mix. I can um, lower the levels from the various pad sounds. So I, I think I have a lot of play in the pads because I can't do a lot of melodic stuff. It's only as a kind of background noise, um, an ambient sound to get the people into a mindset of relaxation and the idea is to walk slowly 
through this labyrinth and yeah have 30 minutes where you're out of this world let's say this way where you can let your mind go wander off in the distance and yeah I will do the music for this so I will come back to you when the mini log arrives to show you which sound I will use it's probably a factory sound that I tweak a little bit to my liking as I only have two weeks and I need to practice this shit and yeah I will show you the other two songs then later whenever I hope you find this useful this sound labyrinth sound lab thingy is one of many different things I will try to do on this channel so if you liked it kick the subscribe button no kick like the kick drum drop some likes and check in next time I'm George the gentleman rocker and you keep on rocking